Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. And remember, yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 196, NASDAQ's up 172, SP's up 31. Gold, gold contract flat, 1946 an ounce. You got silver down 30 cents, $23.71 an ounce. Light sweet crude off a buck and a half, $79.50 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note trading down eight ticks at 114.20, the 30 off eight at 130.05, and King Dollar. King Dollar's trading up 100, no. Trading up 59 ticks at 101.892. The euro is at 108. The yen is out here at a price point of 129. The British pound is at 123 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, they're all finishing up. The, the composite, the NDX is finishing up its ABC. And I suspect, let's take a look at this. You know, the, the SPY right now, we're trading at the uh, up 3, 330 here at 408. If we take a look at this intraday here. Yeah, they're going to run this right into the close, man. This is, uh, you can see the pop. See the pop coming in right now? This is on a 10 minute. Yeah, you're at nine minutes that they're gonna run this right into the close. Because what's gonna happen is that if we go over to the Qs, you're gonna see the Qs should be your benchmark as well as the composite. The reason being, folks, is that they're ABC structures. And the ABC on the Qs is 298.24. And look at it, man. We just hit 298.22, man. I'm telling you, what a trip. And Look at this, you got volume behind this move here. So watch this. This is actually a smaller ABC. Watch, let's do this. 297.44, 290, that's, that's a point, point 0.7. That's 298, that's like 299. This thing's gonna go up to 299 to a close. Pretty cool, man. Now, the composite. Composite's also an ABC structure on the way up. So we have with the composite, the composite right now is 11,689. The A to B equals C to D is 11,762. It's going to be easy to get to. You know, bottom line, you're up 176. Now, this is what's going to be really wild, folks. So uh, let's do the S&P first. No, I'm going to stay with this first. The reason being, you can see what just happened here. What happened is that, you know, there's no doubt people should get excited because this is the first time they actually took out, took out the swing point. And I'm talking about going all the way back to September. We took out, tried to get up there once in November, uh, November 15th, then December 1st, and then on the 13th of December. Well, we're taking it out, and you can see that's a, that's a good takeout. That being said, uh, bottom line, uh, when you finish an ABC structure up, you do something other than continue higher. Now, there's no doubt what you can have is this, is you get a one-to-one -one ABC structure up, a one-to-one point three eight two. The kicker is, now here's the kicker. This is what's so cool about this whole deal, folks. Watch this. This is what's amazing. So inside the NDX 100, right? Lucid is up 47%. Dead cat bounce. We know Tesla is an ABC structure on the way up. That's finishing up, but that's coming off a low. Rivian, the same deal, and Airbnb. Let me look at Airbnb, see if that's the same one. These are the worst stocks in the NDX 100. No, Airbnb is not that bad. The Airbnb... Uh, that's been off the low. That low there was 81. Right now you're at 116. Um, you get the gist of it, though. Uh, bottom line, you have the equities that have performed the worst going higher. Um, inside the NDX 100 today, the strength, as I said, is those four stocks. The weakness, Intel's down 6.5%. Clack is down 5.5%. O'Reilly Automotive is down 3.8%. And Charter Communications is off 3%. We go into the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow Industrials. Inside the Dow Industrials, what do we have out here? Okay, so we got American Express putting uh, the juice into the Dow. That's uh, got 115 positive points. Visa, 52. Home Depot, 27. Taken away from it. Chevron, minus 46. 
points. United Health minus 24, Travelers minus 19. Let's get over and take a look at this uh, oil market. <clears throat> So Chevron came out with monster numbers, and they sold it down, folks, okay? Pretty amazing. If we take a look at the oil contract out here today, let's see. Let's get the volume here. So you have a failure. The real question is, is that, where's this volume at? Yeah, interesting, man. Um, this, is always, this is always a tough one. When It's like, okay, you have heavier volume, and you broke a little swing in the bottom. You break the top, too. The top was 82.64. We had 82.48. The bottom was 79.45, and we hit 79.04. That's this is that's telling us that oil is going to go lower. CVX. So let's go take a look at Chevron. Chevron. This is this is always uh, CVX. So this is when this always gets dicey, which is, you know, I remember, you know, it, as I bet many people have, you, when you start trading, it's like, okay, you're making a fortune. How do you get down $7? Well, the bottom line, folks, is that it doesn't matter. They're going to sell it off. They're doing a buyback. And now which, what's happening is that you failed to get to the high. The high out there was 189 Yesterday, you made it up to 187. You're coming down with volume. That says it's going to go back to the lower end of the consolidation, which is 167. So... Let's see if they took, uh, <laughs> this, that's where it gets so whopped that you can make so much money, and guess what? It still didn't matter. So ExxonMobil uh, is backing down 150. That's it. That actually is in a better situation looking at ExxonMobil than um, Chevron. So it's pretty wild watching this whole thing, uh, how this is going to shake out. But my take, next week what you're going to see is that when you finish the ABC structures, folks, they do something else, but it's gonna be the dollar that wants to run. This dollar, the dollar intraday out here was strong for all of like 20, 30 minutes. <laughs> uh, but the bottom line, you can see what ends up happening. Um, you know, so I suspect somehow, some way, that dollar's gonna, gonna make the run. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648, Dow. Dow Industrial's up 167. NASDAQ of 157, S&P's up 26, so come right back.